Good evening, YouTubers. The last video of the night, I promise. Because I slept late today and got up late and got a late start. And they just came back from a dog walk. Nice after it cooled off. And they're still full of piss and vinegar energy. But this video is about Facebook and all the good shit you can get off of there. And various other social media accounts. Those of you that do painting and siding know what this is. That's a seven foot scaffold that probably opens up to 14. And you put that between two ladders and do painting. And a, a good a couple good friends of mine are on Facebook just to see, just to see what you can get. And, and, uh, my neighbor's friend, a co-worker of hers, or schoolmate from years ago, had a, a friend, a guy whose aunt was going in, into the nursing home. And they got a lot of furniture in the house they got to get rid of and sell. That's the guy that tuned his piano last. And she was asking money for this, but she couldn't sell it. And if you look on Facebook, there's a lot of free stuff. A lot of pianos cheap or giving them away. And this was indoors, so it wasn't in a garage where the mice crawl into it. Well, it's possible if you got mice in your house, I'm sure they'll find their way into the piano. Keys are nice, not no chips in them. Usually they're chipped. And you got a you got a bench with a two that matches. A lot of people are looking for benches alone because they break very easily. And I already got another piano. Why I need two? Maybe I'm gonna upgrade. I gotta find my piano tuner's name crying out loud. I may have to restart this video. What do I do with this business card? Oh, it's in my pocket. This is the guy that tunes my pianos. We both used to go to the same church together and he was a choir director, organ player, piano player. But his father was in the piano tuning business. So if you're in Western New York, this is this is the man to have your piano tuned. And he goes as far as Erie, Pennsylvania, tuned some pianos for a bunch of colleges. And that's my sponsor because he's coming out in a week or two and tell me which one of my pianos is better. And I'm going to get rid of my other one. The one of the, the lesser of the two evils. And someday I'll take piano lessons and learn how to play. But anyway, at this house, there was a bunch of stuff. And my neighbors got a bunch of chairs. Her kids got some chairs. And I grabbed some garage or garage stuff here. This, this all came from the basement. I, I loaded this up and had to proceed. Up the stairs with it, but I have my energy up. It's on my piano dolly. And I gotta sort sort through it. I didn't even look what was there. It looked pretty good, so I I grabbed cleared off the workbench in the basement. And that's staying in the basement. There's a big there's a gas and a coal stove down there. And I tried to move that before. There's no way I could move that. I almost left this thing behind. But I'm thinking that's probably something that goes, it could go between two steps on a ladder to hold that scaffold, so I'm keeping it. Or I could be like Chattanooga chopping, bounce a tennis ball off there and see if I could cut it. That's probably not happening either. Well, let me see how, how focused I am in here. Okay. How focused I am. 
You never saw such a deal. Broken handles. Looks like a sharp blade. Keepers. Oh, brake flaring tools. That's a keeper. Glidden paint. Seems like a full can of white. I don't, I'm not even looking at the years. White off. Nails, I make use them in my garage construction. And they were gonna do throw this stuff out to the scrap yard. Oh, a bunch of drills and a punch. That'll go in my collection in my basement. Keepers. Colorful seed. Oh, I Come on, open up, you bastard. This may take a while to go through all this junk. A saw blade. That's a keeper. Oh, we got some, some taps here. A lot of taps will be playing today for the soldiers that went on in their service. A meat cleaver. Doesn't say where it's made. I'm guessing it doesn't look like a, doesn't look like a Chinese thing. It looks like U.S. made. Trying to read it on there. Let's see how it rings. Yeah, that sounds like good steel. That'll be cleaned up and added to the collection. Tin snips. I'm gonna keep this cleaver out where it might get worked on pretty soon. Dry lock fast plug, that's going in the garbage box. Ooh, look at these clamps. Nice. Old school tools. Obviously this man that used to live in a house died years before and his wife was going into the nursing home, so. Look at them big spikes. I gotta put that with my uh, with my garage collection for garage building junk. Wood repair pegs. those are. That'll go in my trash bin. How'd you like to have a diamond that big? Or diamond doorknobs? I may donate them to the Salvation Army or one of the thrift stores. There's people looking for that old junk. Snobs. Slider feet for something. Painter stick keeper. More punches and chisels. That's keeper material. That saw blade. saw blade slash box opener. 
Maybe this guy smoked all these cigars and dropped dead as a result. Electrical parts, fluorescent light stars, connectors. That's a keeper box to go through. I don't know what that is. That's trash. I'm not, I'm not using these fluorescent plugs. The ballast or whatever those are. That's a keeper box. An axe head. You can always use an axe head. Minwax stuff is good. I'm, that's a keeper. Wood stain. Oh, circular saw. These look like latches. A buck and a half. He, this guy shopped at garage sales. What a cheap bastard like me. Look at that old time. Chastity belt lock. Another lock in there. That's keepers. Oh, look at all those wrenches. Old school. Old school tools. That'll get added to my current tool collection. Little job. Copper tone. That's empty. Chesterfield cigars. The last cigar box. Oh, wire staples. And nails. A keeper. For sure. That's the last cigar box. Shellac thinner. That's garbage. Fast plug. That's garbage. Homer's glue. Wood glue. That's a keeper. It's soft. It's flexible. Dap. Spackling. That might be a keeper. It feels like a full can. Stainless putty. I got no use for that. Oh, whatchamacallit. Thermostat for water heater. Or anything that runs on gas. Hey, that could be a great, great heavy duty light for YouTube videos. And it's got a extension outlet on there. Very useful to have. That's a keeper. And this deal's on the level. Bad pun intended. Heavy duty file. Oh man, there's wood patch. That's got flexibility. We're going to keep that. A snake if your pipes get plugged up. Wire brush, always useful. Another wire brush. Oh, this looks like for one of those animals with these real fine hairs. For maybe a dog nail file. I'm not sure what that is. A wood plane. Old school carpentry. A big ass screwdriver. That's a file. That's a screwdriver with no handle. Get a handle on it. Oh, big ass chisel. Long chisel. File, screwdriver. That one needs to be sharpened. A concrete bit for drill. Pounding a hole in your concrete. I got plenty of those. Mini crowbar. Very useful. Oh, that looks like a homemade jobber. It's re made out of rebar. Somebody had to heat that up, smash it, and make that. Cool. I have no idea what this is, but it's got a good handle on it. Another file. C clamp. Hacksaw handle for getting in tight places. Nice little file. Pipe wrench. 
teeth are fairly good on it. Hacksaw blade. Mini chisel for chiseling in tight places. Triangular scraper. Another file. So we get down to the nitty gritty here. A blade for the plane. Tire repair jobber thing. Oh, that's a nice little old time scraper. Oh, we got a box of something. This feels like drills. I can get it open. Oh, Allen wrenches. Okay. Hydronic circulating oil. Nothing left in there, hardly. Electrical connectors. That goes with the electrical junk. And now we're down to the bits and pieces. Except for this. What's this? This is Old Masters glazing and stain. couple mini sharpening stones that'll go in my collection another one a couple wood bits and the rest a bunch of jars with little bits of hardware and I gotta decide what I'm gonna keep but this video has been over long here's my piano dolly got my name on it in case I loan it to somebody. I might get it back. Good night and God bless the YouTubers. Remember our soldiers that paid the price.